Hello, so right now I'm just going to be going through the soundtrack that we chose to use for our piece and I'm just going to describe it and talk about what happens where and why we're using it. So this is the intro, it just fades in basically, it will be where she says the quote in the beginning um, and then this is where she starts to walk. Um, the music fades in so that's um, cool and this is where she's just walking the main character's walking it's kind of childlike and it's kind of creepy as well um, so you get the kind of doll feel for it like creepy doll feel which is what we were going um, for um, and it resembles her character because she's quite young as well And this is where the masked figure is still following her as well. So she starts following her as she starts walking. And this is um, maybe creating an unsettling feeling in the audience. Because this music is quite creepy. And kind of dark in a way. And that would be where she realises that there's something wrong. After she gets off the phone. And this is where she starts running with that one low note. Um, and all of this would just be the running scene when she runs to her door. And it gets darker. Um, once she realises realizes there's something wrong, that's when it gets dark. Um, and the tone changes from kind of childlike, kind of creepy childlike to kind of darker. Um, so this is all her running. It's a bit long, but it still has that creepy effect. And it's kind of more leaning towards the horror side, more than thriller. But it still, um, still has that creepy unsettling element to it. And it's gradually getting more intense and faster. Um, paced as well as it goes on to kind of create a weird kind of unsettling feeling as well and that's where we would stop it and we would add a sound effect or something to make it more dramatic um, but it's, it would only be around 2 minutes um, 20 seconds so um, yeah that's it